My name is Dan Harris. I'm the Vice President of Engineering at Dodanko. And today we're going to give an overall summary of the Dodanko Selection Software Program. The top of the program provides you a, an area to input project information. Then we can start to enter design information about the project itself. The cells that are colored in red or blue are input cells that are required in order to undertake design information and, and modifications. Cells that have text in black are just for your information and provide outputs. So we can enter the room design conditions for both cooling and heating in this location. And if your design incorporates a coil air on temperature that is different from the room design condition that's entered in this location. The design condition of the primary air that comes from the air handling unit in both cooling mode and heating mode can be entered in these cells. We can also enter the secondary chilled water temperature and the heating hot water temperatures. The elevation of your project above sea level can be included here to incorporate the necessary D rates. And if the water system incorporates any ethylene or propylene glycol, we can incorporate those percentages here. Further to the right, we have some links to create BIM files and a link to download our latest Revit files from our website. The left hand side of the program is where you enter your calculation data. So all of the individual zone data is entered in this location. Next portion of the program is allocated for just useful information in order to evaluate the selections that you have to undertake. Then we get to the actual area of the program where we have to undertake the actual selections. We can vary the models of the active chilled beams or induction units in this via this drop down tab. And then from there on, we can adjust different technical parameters of the product, whether it's a two pipe or a four pipe system, the length of the product, whether it be two, four, or six feet in length. We can also adjust the uh, static pressure that the system's designed to operate at. We can also enter a various, various different flow rates for the primary air in CFM. The coil flow rates in both cooling and heating mode can be varied in order to achieve different cooling capacities and ensure that we keep the water pressure drops below a certain level. The area highlighted in yellow is what we call the zone summary. So if we have a zone that has multiple units installed in that zone, it gives the overall total summary of each of the different parameters that are located within that zone. The final section is where we incorporate the unit data. The unit data displays both NC level and DBA and provides the operating weight of the product when it's in use. 